guys, um, it's Wednesday evening over here and I'm super excited that I'm starting the vlog today. Um, so Paul, first of all, for those who are first time on my vlog, I hope that you will like what you see here so much so that you will stay on board and check out rest of my videos as well as future vlogs. Why I'm starting the vlog on such an unusual time is that tomorrow is a public holiday in Germany and I took Friday day off which I'm so happy about because this week has been dreadful already and um, I was feeling like a bit overburned <laughs> at some point so I'm very happy that I managed to get things done so far that I can take Friday off that means that I will have entire Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday that sounds so sweet to my ears that I have four days for myself um, now first things first, why did I get dressed up? It's not for the video, as much as I have respect for you. I dressed up because I had to quickly drop something at work after full work day at home. We're doing still home office, but I had to bring something back. So I am right now at home after the short trip to work. Trip, yeah. And um, I saw that we have a new delivery at home. I've been waiting for this west wing uh delivery few weeks now it's the pillowcases i think i've talked about this on my instagram channel when i ordered it those are supposed to be from um, misoni and i am curious if they're gonna fit to our couch cushions so let's get started and unbox it together i hope that it will look as good as i imagined it to look like otherwise i will have to check the fitting cushion sizes and order those but fingers crossed that this works for now let me put you let me put you here so. i was contemplating between this one and there was another beautiful print with lots of colors typical for misoni like with lila and pink and orange but i asked on sorry about the tone I asked on Instagram as well and everyone said that it could be a bit overwhelming for our living room which is more in a neutral colors so I decided to get this one which is dark brown and white mix I just can only hope that this is not too dark um, because our couch is sort of in this dark brown color yeah Let's see if this is going to be a pretty look. So this is how it ended up looking. I think it is very pretty. Maybe I will have to think about changing the cushion because it's sort of like very compressed. I don't think it feels so soft as it was before but that's not urgent at the moment at least. I really like the print, just is very beautiful. So, that is that. These ones are ready now. I think what I have not really shown you last time when I was vlogging is uh, the finished look of our new low board. And it is finally ready. And I say ready, and here are some leftovers. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, well, anyway, this is how it looks. The, the top finish is like a marble look. As you can see, it just is the shiny finish and reflects um, the things which are standing over it. So we are not really exactly sure how this is going to turn out in the long run. But in comparison to the old one, this is a lot lower than it was before. And then nothing is really visible anymore in front, which I really like. I am that kind of person who loves to take everything away and keep as minimal as possible. Today it's my turn to twirl around in the kitchen. So I prepared the super easy goat cheese crostini. As you can see, it's like baguette mixed with... And on the baguette you can see... The mix of tumian, goat cheese, some uh, dry tomatoes and pine nuts. While this was warming up in the uh, oven, I prepared an easy salad 
Um, over here it consists of um, spinach and cucumber, cherry tomatoes, more pine nuts which are roasted in the pan and as for the um, sauce I put together olive oil, white wine acid and um, mustard together with some salt and pepper obviously and this is what we're gonna eat right now. I hope Falk is gonna give it a try at least because he's not a big fan of cheese. It is literally one of those days where you don't really feel like dressing up. It's almost 7 o'clock and I just dressed up to be representable on this uh, video because I spent the entire day in PJs and uh, now it's not a lot better to be very honest. I'm just in uh, this um, very old striped long-sleeved t-shirt and uh, this um, jumpsuit. I don't even know how it is called. I think it's called in German Latzhose, but I don't know the name in English. Falco finds it very funny. He says that either kids in the kindergarten wear this or, or the painters, but I find it very, very comfortable, especially when at home, and I love it. Also, my hair looks so horrible at the moment. I was looking back at what I filmed the other day, and it is dreadful. It just, the roots need coloring, Desperately, so <laughs> luckily I have an appointment tomorrow and I can't wait to get myself sorted and the nails are horrible as, a, as well so Basically, I think uh, this corona situation took the toll on me um, I'm happy that I have this long weekend at home because today I showed you the small snippet what I f filmed earlier for um, What I cooked earlier for lunch and night right now believe it or not I'm preparing Jordan Lobiani and um, I will need a little bit of help from Falgo, but I think I'm getting better at um, preparing the dough. This, this one right now has to just come up. Um, but yeah, my mom helps me all the time when I uh, try to cook something Georgian from Zugridi. She just t tries to explain me the dosages which I have to put together. And last time, this uh, cheese pilmenis were very very good so much so that I'm definitely gonna repeat that and now preparing lobiene is sort of an experiment but we'll see what we will get out of it I hope something good I just came out on the balcony because the dough needs quite a bit before it comes up and the paste is ready but that's fine because I'm not that hungry at the moment it's just ridiculous how incapable I am when it comes to using the kitchen techniques I always need Falco's help and I'm not just saying that I know that there's so many girls like oh kitchen is not mine no I actually want the, to be better in the kitchen and I also grew up in a family where my mom was cooking always fresh and always something very delicious for me and I was present and helping her in cutting things and stuff like that but somehow <laughs> these skills are not very developed in me just yeah when it comes especially to the technique bits it's just always so funny like I cut off so much footage here because the, otherwise the vlogs would end up very very long um, but um, yeah if I left everything I think you would be laughing so hard how um, yeah how many rounds I have to do to make one thing work and how long it takes me to blend for example something with a hand mixer unbelievable it can't be a rocket science you think right but with me it is anyway other than that I was thinking about like I asked the other day on IG um, if you guys preferred more sit-down videos and uh, some luxury beats or makeup and skincare um, in comparison to such vlogs I think most of you answered uh, sit down sit down videos um, it's funny though because I really enjoy uh, filming such day vlogs a lot more it's not that posh and dressed up and with full makeup also not very very directed on one topic but at the end of the day I'm doing this channel for myself and what I more myself enjoy watching are the vlogs and I think that was the goal why I started this channel like in mind it's just the corona which brought in so many sit down videos I think I'm still gonna be doing um, sit down videos after all this time after all this ends up but um, I yeah want to focus on what I enjoy creating and I think that's 
like this day-to-day -day things whenever I have time of course um, I myself watch so many vlogs okay not so many but like few people whose videos I won't skip for nothing like I'm gonna drop everything when a few of my favorite youtubers post their vlogs and I don't know if it's because I'm nosy and like to follow their life or it's because it gives me inspiration um, for different things <laughs> but uh, yeah I prefer them a lot more than discussing a bag or an item I don't know like one thing for half an hour somehow I find it boring at the moment there has been period where I was watching that kind of videos as well very very long <laughs> but nowadays my preference lies with vlogs yeah so this is how it turned out as you can see um, the door cracked up a little bit so um, we just realized that I did not add um, oil into the door making process so that might have been one of the reasons according to my mom also uh, when bringing the door up uh, we realized as well that it takes longer than we thought so next time I might do this overnight and then it turns out even better I'm gonna dig in right now and see if it tastes anyhow similar to what I remember from home and then watch some movie good morning I know I look hideous at the moment but at least I'm on my way to the hairdresser to get a haircut and hair coloring and I hope that in one two hours I'm gonna look like my old self just cannot wait but at the same time I have to say that I'm very late for my appointment shameful really because yesterday I missed my appointment and this is just the postponed one so I hope they won't put me on a blacklist Falco was saying that in Germany there is a possibility uh, for being asked to pay for the missed time which would be fair I can imagine because they expect you yeah I just can only hope that they'll be nice and understanding even though I'm not <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Finally I'm out. I can't believe it took half day long before I did my hair and I did my nails. How sweet is that? I went a full on with color. Totally stole this idea from someone. Uh, I had this picture pinned and saved in um, on my IG and yeah to celebrate the moment that I could do my nails once again I went for this colorful French also as you can see my hair turned out a lot darker than it usually is but I think it will take a few washings uh, before it turns to my usual color it just looked very bleached down in the end and I wanted it to um, get a bit of toning uh, so we'll see how this is gonna end up looking after a few times of washing it also I'm not really sure if I showed you what I'm wearing today so I'm gonna walk back I'm in our yard and show you what I chose for today I just wanted to show you once again on this more blank um, background how this nails turned out aren't they fun I am totally loving it it's like pastel colors I'm not really sure about this turquoise but uh, the rest are very very pretty in my opinion now we are now we are in the car and driving to my project area because I think Falgo hasn't really seen it there um, detailed at least um, to just take a bit of walk um, it's such a spring weather at the moment um, at one second it's raining and on another it's sunny again so we're gonna make the best out of it also there is like new developments up there and we just wanted to walk through and see how um, those new houses look there just to create an overview for ourselves if we like what they do and whatnot so that's what we're gonna be doing today I hope I can show you what I wear later on and get a bit of pictures for my ID. Fogo is already rolling guys. <laughs> but yeah. We'll see.
Gosh. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's insane. We just came back. It's pouring outside. Literally pouring. It was so good that we went before. It was sunny and we took our time. We strolled around. We took pictures. We reflected. We talked about what we saw. The new development area as well as the old part. Um, so it was really good to see what they are doing, what they are planning. And then it started to rain, so it was obvious that it's gonna get only worse. So we ran back to the car and came home quickly. So I didn't really film much after what you've seen in the snippets before. Um, yeah, and now we're home. I think we're gonna lounge, get cozy, take out the blanket and watch some movie. That is why I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here, right now. I thank you dearly for taking your time and watching this. Um, and I hope that you liked what you saw. If you did so, please support this tiny channel by liking. That shows the algorithm that you are supporting this channel. And um, yeah, I would be very, very appreciative of it too. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be informed when I'm posting next time. I post minimum once, but mostly two times a week. Um, yeah, and I would be very, very glad to see you back. Yeah, peace.